Hello, so I just changed into this little outfit. This top is from Princess Polly. These jeans are actually thrifted. I got them like, I got them like three years ago probably. And look at how cute. And this necklace is from Forever 21. So I am actually just gonna, I'm actually gonna do a little get ready with me today. Um, makeup edition. So today I just wanted to show you a little get ready with me using new makeup that I got from Sephora. If you guys haven't seen my haul, definitely go back because I got a lot of really good things. I wanted to try out some products, so I put on a cute little fit and I'm gonna go get ready. Wow. Let's see. <gasps> wow. <laughs> que bonito mi ratón. A ver, ratón. Wow. I also just got these packages. They're both from Sephora, so we're gonna open these up. Let me show you guys what I got from Sephora. They sent things like in different boxes. So in that box, I got these three um, Charlotte Tilbury wands. I was so excited when they came back in stock. So I got the Charlotte Tilbury um, pink gasm. I'm excited. I'm going to use this one today. I'm honestly really confused right now because I also got two contour wands and I don't remember like buying both of them. They're in two different shades too, which is pretty funny. I got fair medium and medium deep. I guess I did buy both of them. I did not mean to buy them. I think I was like trying to decide which one would be better for me. And then I decided for the fair medium because I could always like build it up. And the other thing I got, I got the Say Glowy Super Gel in Star Glow. This is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Wow. And I mainly got this because, oh wow, this is like a good size. Um, how many fluid ounces? This is one, oh, that's interesting. Just one ounce. Okay, well. There's one ounce and this packaging is really cute. I got this because I really wanted like a nice glowy highlighter. And then I actually ended up going in store because I also got the Charlotte Tilbury. Guys, I like went crazy with the Charlotte Tilbury products because I feel like they're always out of stock. So I just like literally got so many Charlotte Tilbury things. So I got the blush, the pink gasm blush. I got two contour wands, literally just needed one. I got the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Beauty Light Wand. I think this is like a rose gold highlight. And then I also got the spotlight one because I've been wanting to get this one. And I got that. I got two of the lip cheats. These are just restocks, but I freaking love them. So I got Pillow Talk and then I also got the Iconic Nude, which I love both of those. That is my little Sephora sale haul. Oh, and I'm like, I'm so done with myself. Like I did not need to go out and buy more things. I still got these while the sale was going on, but honestly, after getting all that I did, I really didn't need these things. And then I also picked up this milk makeup set. Like I'm done, I'm done. But I really liked this little bag. I thought it was like such a cute color. This is called the Overachievers um, little set. And it has the new setting spray it has a little hydro grip primer it has a mascara and then it also has like that cream blush so i have a lot to try on so i don't even know what i'm gonna start with i probably should have pulled out the things that i wanted to start with okay, so i went ahead and pulled out everything that i wanted to try i have a lot of makeup here let me just show you like, look at all of this makeup. Don't mind my coffee. I just drink that. But this is what I want to try. I'm so excited. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to start with this little set. Let me just open it, like, on camera. Oh, my gosh. This is so cute. So it comes with this. We're just going to let go of that. But this little bag is actually really cute. I thought it'd be like a cute little bag to bring to the pool in the summer or like the beach. Not that I live near a beach, but a girl can dream. And um, these are the products. 
So it comes with a little spray, it comes with a little Hydro Grip primer, it comes with a little blush in the shade Perk, and then it also comes with this um, Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. Let's open this up real quick. This packaging is really nice though, I will say. Ooh, okay. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I mean, it's cute because it's like a mini. I don't know if I'm gonna like it because the wand, these types of wands I feel like don't really work for me because they're really big and my eyelashes, like I like thin, more like spiky wands. I tend to go for like a thinner wand um, so that it really like grasps my lashes because yeah, I don't know what I'm doing today. Guys, I am so unprepared today. So I'm going to start out with just curling my lashes because I feel like I need to do that. This is also a new eyelash curler. It's the Shiseido, Shiseido one. I think it's Shiseido, right? I got it from Sephora. So let's see. I think I'm going to start with... Oh, you know what? I really want to start with this. It's the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. I've been dying to try this and I haven't because I was waiting to do this video. So this is the Glowy Makeup Serum. It's supposed to just like make your skin feel very hydrated. By the way, I did already prep my skin. Oh, that feels really nice. I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Grip primer and I'm excited because people like really rave about this it is really tacky oh actually that feels better than I thought it was gonna feel it's a good balance between feeling tacky on the skin but hydrating so I really like this I think it's actually really good I was not expecting it to feel like that but it feels really soft on the skin for the face i'm gonna use the say slip tint this has spf 35 so i was really curious to see how it's gonna work and i love a good bb cream or tinted moisturizer for the summertime i just feel like it's so easy and lightweight and it just feels really like fresh on the face so i'm gonna use this one this is how it looks I'm really excited because this has been hyped up, so we're going to see what the hype is all about. Also, I don't know if I got my shade right. Um, I got the Rare Beauty one and my shade was way off, so I have to like repurchase that in a better shade. But I'm going to do that and then I'm going to use... I think I'm going to use a brush today. Oh, I think that shade is actually really good. Oh, wow. I think that shade is actually really nice. Oh, wow. This is really good. I think I actually like this one better than the Rare Beauty one. I felt like, I don't know if it was because the shade was just off. I just feel like with that one, it like sat on top of my skin and then... It just didn't look flattering on me but i'm gonna give it another try i'm gonna like go back and get my shade maybe i also needed to like exfoliate before guys exfoliation is key when you do your makeup and like skin prep in general like, your makeup will look so good if you do just a couple more steps before by the way i'm the shade two and i feel like that one matched me pretty well now I'm using the Hourglass Concealer. This is in the shade Silk. And this has more of like a peachy undertone. I really like this. And this applicator is really nice. I really like this. I feel like the applicator is really nice. That's cute. I just feel like this shade might have been a little bit... It honestly feels really nice so far. I do feel like this shade though, it, it's a little bit like similar to my skin tone so i don't know if that's gonna really brighten oh my gosh that just like made my under eyes look really flawless though guys this looks really nice so far i really like this like 
the consistency it feels really nice I feel like the consistency feels like really nice and hydrating it like went on really smoothly it felt really like silky like what it's called like silk it felt like that on your face didn't cling to any dry patches so i'm just gonna go in with my nars to be honest, I think I like this Hourglass one a little bit better um, because it just feels less drying. But the NARS shade is lighter, so I'm just going to mix it and kind of brighten up that under eye. For powder, I'm just using the Laura Mercier Translucent. This isn't new or anything, um, but I really love it. I did really want to get the Huda Beauty one. Um the pink one that they have because i've been seeing everywhere that like a pink under eye just really brightens but i didn't get it because it was sold out so i'm just gonna go in and do a little light baking i literally forgot to do like my cream products Love that for me. I set my face and I didn't use my Charlotte Tilbury wands. So I'm still gonna go back and use them because I'm dying to try them out. Hopefully this doesn't turn out a complete mess. I'm so nervous right now. Is that too much? I don't know. I'm just going to dot around my face. I don't know. I'm going to do that much. Ooh, that blends out so nicely. <gasps> okay, but like... That actually looks really nice. Okay, Charlotte, come through. I am honestly shocked this looks really good and it's really easy and like really effortless so now i'm gonna go in with the charlotte tilbury glow gasm beauty light wand in pink gasm i feel like this is so popular and i had been wanting to try it out for so long but it had been out of stock so i hadn't been able to but girl like i'm so excited to try it out um i don't really know how much to like put on i may have done a little bit too much i'm just gonna take my stippling brush from real techniques and blend it in that looks really cute so far like the color i honestly may have done a little bit too much <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, I may have done a little bit, like, too much. Okay, yeah, I think I did, like, way too much. This is really pretty. Now I'm gonna use this Makeup by Mario um, palette. I'm so excited. <gasps> This is what the palette looks like. It's a lot of nice like matte neutral shades. So I honestly really love that. I'm just going to use a Morphe brush. I think I'm going to go in with, I don't even know which one to use. Probably like this one over here. And oh, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to pull the mirror thing off. I'm trying to just do like an easy everyday makeup look that i would typically do okay so now i'm going to take a little bit of this one which is like just like a cream shade kind of like a bone color okay i like that the eyeshadows are not extremely pigmented um, so keep that in mind, but I think that they're good for like Layering and like really building up the color plus they don't have fallout at least from these two shades So that's really nice. I feel like these are really user-friendly 
so like if you don't really do much eyeshadow i'm gonna use this darker one to just kind of do like a wing wow like there's really no fallout which is pretty nice actually i am gonna try out the milk one i don't think i'm gonna like it though because this brush is not really like what i like for my lashes that's what the brush looks like but we're gonna give it a shot maybe the formula is like really good actually this formula is pretty good because that's just like one um coat and i feel like it really lifted my eye okay i'm also just gonna do a little bit of that brown underneath the lower lash line i am so excited to do my brows because i'm gonna be using the refi brow products so i have the brow pencil and the brow sculpt and i love jess hunt so i really wanted to see what the brand is like it's very aesthetic which i'm all about aesthetics that i love so here is the little pencil um really cute i got the shade i think this is like medium brown oh it's just medium oh my gosh okay so this pencil i don't know if it's focusing but it's like a really thin really fine like little pencil so i think this is going to be really good for the eyebrows so i'm just gonna actually i i think you're supposed to use the, the brow sculpt first now that i think about it i think you use this first and then you go in with the brow pencil so i'm actually gonna do that so this is what the brow sculpt looks like. Sorry if you guys hear noise, my baby's in the back. He's like playing. Anyways, I just got the clear one. So it's supposed to, I'm so excited for this because I've just heard amazing things. Ooh, okay. So it has like this, which you just kind of, I guess let's just try it out. So far, so good. I do actually like the way that that looks and then i guess you just take like the cap off and it has a little brush like that so i'm just gonna i do need to fill in my eyebrows but i think it looks really nice we have a little joiner because he decided to wake up from his nap and he does not want to like stay put. So I actually really like the fluffiness. So now I'm gonna go in with the pencil and just create like little hair like strokes. I really like it. I think it looks I think it looks pretty good. I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Spotlight. This is the Beauty Light Wand. I'm really excited. Again, I should have done this before I set my face, but I still want to like try it out. So Okay, I'm just going to put some like A little dot at first and then blend it out with my finger super cute you really only need a little bit I hate the way foundation looks on the lips not a cute look for lip liner i'm just gonna use i'm gonna go in with pillow talk i'm wearing this like cute pink top and you know i kind of want to just go for the pink vibes so i'm just gonna use the charlotte silvery lip cheat in pillow talk this is such a beautiful um like everyday color And I overlined the cupid's bow and then just
for me it's like a your lips but better color and it just looks really really pretty so i am a huge fan oh you know what i actually did get a new lip gloss i did get this um fenty beauty heat gloss bomb in the shade fussy it's also like a pink gloss so I did want to try it out today. I really love like lining my lips and then just using a gloss over top. I think it's really cute. It's really cloudy outside now. I like it a lot. It's also supposed to be like a, a lip plumper. So we'll see about that. And then, oh, you know what? For the spray, I'm going to use the new spray that I got. The Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. This bottle alone looks really cute. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to, like... I'm kind of scared. Did you have to shake it? Kind of may have gone a little bit too overboard i really need to get like a little fan i'm feeling the lips now Ooh. okay that just made my makeup look super dewy super like glowy i feel like this spray just made me look really dewy and it just kind of like topped off the look if you know what i mean so i'm vibing with this i think this makeup is actually really cute i think it looks really good I feel like this is a perfect everyday look for spring and summer. It just looks really nice and glowy and dewy and like fresh. It's giving. Like I'm loving it. That's all I have for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you are somebody that likes beauty, fashion, lifestyle, um, health and wellness, like fitness, you know, like hot girl things, definitely be sure to subscribe because we're going to do all the hot girl fit girl activities here and yeah i'm very excited for all of the other content i planned out again thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video